the amount of podcasts out there, they're I know. So we're 21. You always seem so surprised when we have I am, stuff. I am. I don't think anyone's <laughs> listening. I think with Sam is in between sort of mini driver and the Financial Times. Or... Welcome. We are Neil, Luke and Dave. 340-somethings reminiscing on the runners and riders of 90s guitar music. We look at the bands who soundtracked our youth on both sides of the pond and interview some of our heroes from the bands that defined a generation. You'll hear about the good, the bad and the ugly of 90s guitar music. This podcast is stupid and contagious. Episode 49 of the Stupid and Contagious podcast. Those of you who are watching may notice, you know, we don't always dress like this, but it's a summer special, isn't it? Hey! So we've made maximum Ooh. effort. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, when you say maximum effort, you mean <laughs> we've done, put on some sunglasses. You got you doubled up. I got I got doubled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got yeah, this yeah, yeah. Uh, hat on. Looks like uh, look at him, eh? The man from Delmonte. Is that actually your hat? Yeah, is that your real yeah. hat? <clears throat> yeah, it's very becoming. It suits you, man. Oh, thanks. You That's look a bit like Ni- Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> you look like what does he look like? <laughs> Keith Chegwin. I'm like I'm, yeah, Keith, no, I'm like I'm like a. Timmy Baggy. Mallet. I'm like Stone Roses fan in like eighty nine. Timmy Mallet, that's it. Who uh, who may get a mention later on? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's on um, my list. There's been a lot happening this week. Uh, England lost. There's probably less said about that the better. Oh, I got you up know. for that. Oh, so tired. Um, hey, I never mind. Totally it might never happen. I, I, I've got I, I've got to that point now. It just might not happen. I'm it okay with it. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm okay. England with it. wins a major yeah. championship. Yeah. 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 I think I'm okay with it. The, well, the men's team, we should say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Um, uh, Trump got shot. Fucking it in the ear. Wow, that was fucking amazing, man. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> no, I don't. The, the problem is, though, it's the perfect photo opportunity for him, wasn't it? It's him incredible. Blood on his face. The yeah. American flag behind. It's had like a perfect yeah. photo for him. Yeah. You couldn't have yeah, done yeah, yeah. got a better publicity shot. Well, it didn't look that good, did it? His hair was all out of place. Well, it always is, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. But one thing that did puzzle me from that, because you it, you can still hear the audio when he's getting taken off, is he was very adamant about he, he wanted his shoes before they took him off. Yeah. yeah. He's obsessed with putting his shoes on. So the bullet must have knocked his shoes off. <laughs> it blew his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> he stands on like a thing, doesn't he? Because he's like not completely like stable. He he, he always stands on like a funny kind Maybe of thing. Maybe he's got one he? leg shorter than the other. Yeah, yeah. So it's bone spurs. Yeah, it's very adamant yeah. about getting his shoes back before he went got taken off. Yeah, he's a it seems yeah. like an yeah. odd concern. Oh yes. man, he literally it's turned his head. A he? couple of inches away. Well, in Japan, we had a we had a we had, you know fascist ex-prime minister got got assassinated a couple of years ago. That's Some right, dude yeah. with a handmade fucking blunderbuss. <laughs> That's away, right. man. <laughs> Made his own gun. Fucking insane. <laughs> you know. And Ooh. then there's that, that bloke over here that did all those crossbows murders. It's all been going on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but obviously and topping all of that is <laughs> we just we man we're sort of tearing outside the top twenty of a podcast chart. That is totally mental. So let's be be honest. So what what is the chart? <clears throat> What's the title so, so of I, the chart? It's iTunes it, charts, uh, but then it's split into categories. And it, yeah. in the arts category, mm. yeah, we were number twenty one. But arts is a big fucking category. And the amount of podcasts out there, there's fucking shitloads. And we're 21. You always seem so surprised when we have... I am, I am. I don't think anyone's <laughs> listening. <laughs> well, there you go. It was, Sam was watching between, the shit I say, man. Because I was looking, at, looking around the stuff uh, above and behind us in the chart. I think with Sam is in between sort of mini driver and the Financial Times or something. It's like BBC like Good that, Food, it? New York Times book book be, good book list or something. Good and book us. guide. It's incredible. <laughs> well, it's, again, it's um, it's not us. It's it's our 
Amazing no, 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 listeners. Absolutely. So, it's incredible. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's mad, but we can't thank you enough and we just carry on. We need to get to number one. Puts a lot of pressure on the game. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah, don't know, do it. I mean, we have to start censoring ourselves and being professional and stuff. Don't I? We've been nah. censoring ourselves the whole time. Yeah, we yeah, have. Thanks to, thanks to Luke. Doctor Woke. Dave, um, what's been happening in Berwick this week? Any mad dogs? Well, I, I had quite a frightening experience the other night when I, I was quite ill. Look in the mirror. And I went, I went, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you run out of hummus. <laughs> That's closer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a free shortage in the town. No, I got. I was in the bathroom and then I was for my evening. But do we want to hear this? And I, I, yeah. I tried to get out and the door broke. I was just stuck. <laughs> yeah, I stuck couldn't get in out. The <laughs> yeah. Stuck inside, locked in the lavatory. Yeah, in the masturbatorium, locked, but locked in. In the bathroom, yeah. There's only one thing to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. If you've experienced it, that's the last thing on your mind. You just... <laughs> I have actually... sheer panic. I have experienced it at a campsite in France in the 90s. Ooh. No, in the 80s. Did you get out? Uh, my dad had to come and did break the door down or jump over the cubicle. I'm not sure. But because I've got eczema, right? So I, I have to... That's why you're cream called flaky, on. isn't it? Where's yeah. this going? <laughs> so, how could eczema be related to being locked in the toilet bear with or me or make it worse I, I, in any way I use a lot of cream right so I went to the toilet at this campsite in France and when I went to unlock the cubicle door after I'd been to the toilet it keeps I couldn't undo it because I my fingers uh, are eczema my ass. you just kind of creamed yourself <laughs> up to knock one out <laughs> eczema <laughs> I <think laughs> vaseline that we had about 10 no, whatever, it wasn't that. whatever. I screamed oh. the whole campsite down because no one was there. I went on my own, and then yeah. Dad ended up coming to the rescue. Oh, Can't remember you. what how it ended. But Dave, how did Dave, you get out? Yeah, how did you get out? Well, um, I managed to get my head together and get thinking, <laughs> and um, my son <laughs> was well. able to go outside <laughs> and give me some tools in through the bathroom window. Hang on, H- hang on. How did you contact your son? Well, he was the other yeah, side of the door. Oh, no, okay. I mean, so you, okay, okay. It's not a soundproof bathroom. No, but it's right up at the <laughs> top, isn't it? No, no, this is the middle one. You see, Dave's got a bathroom on each floor, and that's true. I know. He's got three floors, he's got a bathroom on each one. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> Lord of the Manor. <laughs> so the middle bathroom, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I was able to <laughs> drill a tiny little hole in the catch that was stuck. Mm. And then I yeah. could poke a screwdriver in and just, pr- mm. just get it to open, and then I was free. Wow. Pretty oh, yeah. clever. Yeah. Thank yeah. God for that. You don't expect that to be difficult to get out of, do you? But it no. Did you build it? What, the bathroom? Yeah. The door. Did you put no. the door on there? No. No, no so it's Been not your fault. Years. That's pretty good, though. Bloody hell. Luke, can you match that? Uh, I went to Korea. That was good fun. Oh, yeah. And you got back yeah. safe. Oh, did you go Just got back at like, midnight last night. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Did you pop to good. the north or like we suggested or um, stuck my head, stuck my head in the door. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't much going on, so came back down. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was it? No, nah, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Look, yeah, lots of food. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's good. Can you speak Korean? No, and I felt really bad that I couldn't. No, not even like a single word of it. No, no. Well, yeah. What? What? What do they eat over there? What's their main dish? Oh, they got loads. Is it dog? No. Do you eat dog? No, although they do eat, that's just for special occasions, but they do eat it. Right, right. Bibimba, I had a, had a good bibimba in the kind of the basement of this like open air market, which is kind of really cool. Uh, La Bamba. <laughs> La Bamba. Um, <laughs> had some other kind of barbecue meaty stuff. Had um, They do like, they, they eat a lot of chicken, spicy chicken, chicken mm. and beer. I went to this chicken and beer place and uh, got chicken chatting to beer. these, these, um, these lads, they were they were like military friends. You know, they have like um, compulsory military service over there. So they were like oh, mili- well, ec- old military friends kind of uh, out on the piss. And uh, yeah. that's quite fun. Um, yeah, I had a couple of drinks with him. Talked about football. It's good. It's good. Did yeah. they listen to the podcast? No, no, I don't think so. Well, I didn't ask, but no, they didn't recognise me. So I guess I don't not. know if it's reached. 
Well, it probably has reached Korea. Oh, we had the, we had that yeah. one listener, didn't we? In the Q and A, we had that yeah. one listener from Korea. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think we we listened to in seventy countries now or something. Wow, incredible! I did manage to get to one record shop, but I didn't buy anything. I did I did get to yourself more of the van. It's just taking up a lot of my time. It's just take everything takes so long. I'm rubbish at all woodwork and all that sort of stuff. So I just keep. But you're learning everything from scratch, aren't you? Yeah. You never even basically. held a hammer before, had you? No. That makes it more rewarding. Yeah, I guess so. I just don't want it to look shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bit of swimming, Pell's Pools. I, I've been back to Pell's Pool, the outdoor pool. Right. Is it warmed up over there? It's, I think it's about 22 degrees, the pool. Uh, the weather's <sighs> okay. still shit. Yeah. yeah, not much of a summer here, which leads us on to the subject of this week's Wang, Summer Songs. Hey, we're gonna call it. Whose idea was this? (laughs) (laughs) We've already covered them. Oh, it's easy then. Yeah, we did talk about it a little bit in the dodgy episode, but we thought so. It's a a peak of summer, so summer songs it is. If you are watching this, then do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've had a lot of new subscribers this week. Uh, comment below your favourite summer tunes, all that sort of stuff, memories from the 90s. Um, yeah, and if you're listening, then please do rate and review because it really does help us get found, as we've clearly found this week, being yes. just outside the top thanks 20 to Miles in Hunt. iTunes charts. Yeah, thanks to Miles yeah. Hunt. must have done something Cheers, to Miles. help us. It's brilliant. We shared it. It always yeah. helps, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, we appreciate that. So, yeah. yeah. And if you're new to the podcast, um, get stuck into the archives. So, yeah, just mentioned we had Miles Hunt from the Wonder Stuff last week. Uh, yeah. All your favourites will be in there. We've got uh, Senseless Things, we've got Pop Will Eat Itself, Shed Seven, Dodgy, who I'm sure will come up in today's episode. Mm. Um, Faith No More. Uh, yeah, have a look around, find something to listen to. But yeah, like, like Dave said, uh, thanks so much to Miles for sharing. And uh, he's a lot of love for that guy, right? He's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People loved it, which is great. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. We love so doing it. We do. Onwards and upwards. All right. Let's 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 start with um, with charts, chart stuff. What have you got? Let me go first because I've got one. And if you say it, I'm fucked. Go on in. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, 1991. Oh, Summertime. It's such a summery song, isn't it? But it's, it's amazing. not relatable to, as a for me, as a... A Brit coming from the southeast. Oh, it's it really to me. Is I play, play American born stuff. Really? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you? Didn't? Yeah. And you cruised around in your yeah, car. Didn't. So yeah, it might not have relevance to you, but it did to me. Did you get in so. one little fight and your mum got scared and moved you <laughs> to your, <laughs> your uncle in Bel Air? No, that's a different song, Luke. Oh man, we listened to that song a lot, right? That summer, we were down the beach basically every day, weren't we? It um, has very. We were on the groin in Seaford. This is Seaford. For people that don't know, is between Eastbourne and uh, and Brighton. It's a small, yeah, small, it's uh, a small town. Pool town. Where that's where we all grew up. Uh, mm. Yeah, on the groin, Marlborough Lights, DJ Jazzy Jeff jumping in the sea. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy you days, know. man. It was hot yeah. back then as well, wasn't it? <sighs> I don't know. I remember it being like every day. Summer. Yeah, well, we were there every day, weren't we? We had that on repeat every pretty day. much, right? Yeah. I don't know if Dave yeah. was there every day because it was a bit of a trek for him, but yeah, you, you came along, didn't you? I think I was, I, I think that's the summer I was working all the time through Silly. Oh, yeah, you might have been. Right, 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 right. But yeah, yeah. we had to bring my brother with me, uh, with Dude. us as well, right? So Jake was there. He's like five years younger. He must have been like nine or 10. We were sitting there like smoking that. and jumping and being an idiot. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great. It's yeah, great. good. And it's an amazing song. If we're going to talk about that, then I, I don't think I think these two sort of go hand in hand in a way. Uh, on, set yeah. adrift on memory bliss. P. Oh, on. I didn't think P. of that P. at all. Oh. Yeah, that was oh, around a similar sort of time. Good tune, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. both. But yeah, summertime is a is a banger. Still love it now. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great song, isn't it? Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. There aren't any more. 
you've got like well, I mean, there's summer summery songs, not not necessarily with the word summer yeah. or summertime, like like you know DJ Jazzy Jim. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what else was around? Um, Macarena. It was everywhere. <laughs> was that nineties? I, I didn't know you knew the words. Was, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit seedy though, isn't it? That one, isn't that what the bloke, those two old blokes, or is that something else? I don't know. What you're talking yeah, about. <laughs> yeah, it is, it isn't is it? the old blokes. It's what the are they old doing? Blokes, isn't it? Well, they're just sort of dancing Being around. Loads of young oh, neighbors. right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit weird. But... I want, yeah, I wanted to put in the Lambada as well, but it was '89. Ah, just just, just missed out on well, the '90. You mean the okay, band? Okay. No, I mean <laughs> the Lambada. What are the words to Lambada? La, 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 Lambada. Well, they're in Spanish, aren't they? <laughs> Dave, Dave knows what is Lambada? <laughs> what about La Bamba? La Bamba's not a summer song. <laughs> Stop saying And it's it. from the 1950s. It's from the 50s, <laughs> not the 90s. La Bamba means summer. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah. this. This is this is some new listeners' first experience of a new episode. We right, let's keep it professional. Pull it out of the bag here. Then let's get on to the Venga Boys. Uh, we like okay, to party. Yeah. Open brackets. The Venga Bus. Close brackets. <laughs> it's, a, it's a summer banger. They had a lot of hits, didn't they? The Venga Boys. Oh man, the Venga Bus kept coming. Really? Where were they from? They were like Danish or something. I think they might be Dutch. I'm going with Dutch. Uh, oh, boom, awesome boom, 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 boom. Yeah, they had so oh, many hits, boom, right? Boom, boom, Are you right? They're Dutch. Dutch Euro dance oh, music groups based in Rotterdam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that just reminded me of that horrible song, that Rotterdam song. Oh, God. Rotterdam <laughs> or anywhere. Songs. Liverpool or Rome. Yeah, it's oh, man. Beautiful South, isn't it? That is That's shit, isn't song. it? <laughs> I knew you'd like it. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> You dirty bastard. Uh, fucking Rotterdam. I oh, must have had a man. summer song in there. Up yeah. their sleeves. Yeah. Well, Dave mentioned Timmy Mallet earlier. So, Bomb Ballerina and Timmy Mallet with their cover of uh, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini was a, a big hit, wasn't it? I mean, it's a good cover, yeah, that's for sure. That must have been 80s. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, 90s. Just really? Oh, maybe. 90s, I, think. I didn't think about it. I don't know. Oh, maybe you're right. Do you remember? Mallet's mallet. What, do you know what he used to say? He get a bonk on the head if he did it. I can't remember. Oh, 1990, just in there. All right, yeah. all right. Thank God for that. Otherwise, what would we have done? Right, Can you believe he was like the biggest TV star going? That was that was considered. That was like enough talent back in those days. Is he dead? No, he's still going. <laughs> he's got. He's quite big on um, TikTok now. I think he he rides around on his bike just being annoying he still wears the same shit and just you know what's his real name <coughs> he was Timmy an icon Mallet. man he was an icon there were some other kind of big ones that were like kind of from rock groups but they were like chart chart hits like smash mouth walking on the sun is that 90 yeah it would have been 90s wouldn't it oh yeah. man i hated that track so did i they were rubbish weren't they yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what would you put them like, in the same category as that kind of thing but they worse than like the offspring mm. or someone like that yeah they were worse than yeah that. they're more like annoying aren't they they're more like ironic that, that whole you can't put lump them in with because they're just there yeah, isn't it it's just rubbish it's just throwing yeah. away rubbish you also yeah. had uh len steal my sunshine I was, didn't mind uh, that. Yeah, yeah I like that. that. That's brilliant. That was that. I was good. listening to that earlier. And what about oh, really? Brand Van, Brand Van Fifty Nine or whatever they were called? Brand Van Three Thousand. I got that as well. I put them in the same 3, category. 000. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking same. in LA. Drinking good. in LA. That's good. Yeah, tune, that's a great yeah. track. Yeah. 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 So they're kind of the uh, the outer edges of the chart stuff. But yeah. What about the um, yeah on, the football song? When was lifted out? Three lines. Yeah, That's Ocean summer, Drive really. is a perfect summer song, isn't it? Come on, Dave. Ocean this drive. is a prime opportunity. Well, I was going to say Ocean mention drive. Them. Oh, later I on. Was. Okay, okay. Okay, so Three Lines would have been 96, right? 30 years of her. Yeah, but then yeah. Dave's right. World in Motion was 90. That's got a less summery vibe to it, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it was out in the summer, so you, you kind yeah, of yeah. do sort of relate it to the summer. I love that song, World in Motion. I think it's brilliant. Okay, it's not not particularly summery, but yeah, because the, those kind of things happen in the summer, right? So the the Euros or World Cups are always in the sun. So yeah, same with Free Lines. 
free lines, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But the good thing about free lines, I think, is because it was a Bedeal and Skinner. They were huge at the time, weren't they? They were all sort of... Right, we've talked about it before, but yeah, the kind of comedy, comedians as rock stars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was all yeah, that, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? But then you had yeah. the Lightning Seeds, who everyone loved at the time. They, were, I think they were quite an underrated band, the Lightning Seeds, weren't they? Yeah, I was a big fan of them. Yeah, I thought they were good. Ah, no comment. I could tell Luke isn't. Although, like Ian Brody's done loads of good like production work and stuff. I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. Their, their song "Change" is a summary song for me. Yeah, that, yeah, they did a lot it's of got summary a real stuff. Summary I think. vibe to it. Yeah, quite a summary, summary vibe yeah. in general. Yeah. yeah. The scary thing about Three Lions is that song. It's nearly doubled in time between the years of Hurt. <laughs> yeah, two yeah, years really about s- it. Two years, it'll be 60 years of her. Yeah, we're yeah. guaranteed yeah, to yeah, get yeah. to 60 years. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's, that's true. That's scary, isn't it? I hate that song. <laughs> I liked it at the <laughs> time. you said you'd like it. At the time, I did. It gives you the reality of how shit England, <laughs> uh, England men's team are. 60 years is pathetic, isn't it? Let's talk about it a little bit. I don't think with that shit. It's just, I think it's just one of, you know, some things just aren't meant to happen. And they're just uh, not meant to win major tournaments. Well, it's like in America, like in baseball, the Cubs had the curse of the Cubs, right? I don't know. Tell us about it. Well, I don't know in detail, but they, they had they they never win. They never won the right. uh, the World Series. Yeah, I think it's I think it's just you one know, of eight those years or whatever. And I think about five years ago they won it. So there you go. Yeah, because I don't think it, our team is a big fan. I mean, our team didn't play amazingly well this tournament, but. A lot of the other teams were worse, and we did all right. But I just think that we're just, it's just one of those things that just isn't meant to be. I think the most frustrating thing is, I think it was a fair result last night, Spain for better. I do, yeah. just think, what a fuck up two years or three years ago when they didn't beat Italy for shit. Yeah, I think they had their chance to, and that, that one before even, where they played really well and beat teams convincingly. But, yeah, there wasn't any of that this time. But, yeah, I just, like I say, I'm okay with it. I just don't think it's going to, it might not happen. The oh so nears. No more chart stuff. There's loads in the ilk of, um, you know, the ones where there's a dance. Saturday night. Saturday night, uh, remember? We remember that well. Stuff. We knew the dance of Saturday night before anyone else because we went on holiday and everyone was doing the dance. And we come back Well, to let's England. talk about it. Let's talk about it, so... Where where All were right. we? Calador, Mallorca. Yeah, it was Calador. So we were in sixth form, four, and we four. we had to get special permission. We went in term time, didn't we? We did back then. You could do it because it was you... cheaper. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah Don't you remember? And then the I school tried to refuse permission, and then my yeah, mum told had, off. My mum had to kind of inter- intercept, and she said, um, "Oh, you know, they're only young ones. What's what's a week? Let them go." And uh, <laughs> exactly. and they said, "Okay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum. <laughs> and off we went. And off we went. That's good. In the middle of I didn't term. didn't realise we owed your mum for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember someone had to. Yeah, I yeah. think Fermin put his foot down and said, no, they're not. Yeah. Them. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was firming up. It didn't matter, yeah. though, did it? We'd have still gone. Yeah, we would have gone anyway. Yeah. But... It's amazing. You could have a holiday for £99 then. <laughs> yes, whole <laughs> week. Luke's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke's mum was a travel agent, so we always got good deals, didn't we? mm so that flight and accommodation for ninety nine pounds. That's pretty yeah. ridiculous, isn't it? So off we went to Calador. Yeah, and, and then there was every all the Spanish kids were doing this Saturday night thing at, in these clubs, and we we're like, "What the fuck is this?" Because everyone knew everyone did the dance, didn't they, on the dance floor? I think they t- tried to teach us how to do it, but yeah. And then we come back, and like six months later, well, not even six months, in that summer it was a smash it. It's a good track. That's a good holiday. That was good, eh? And is it right that we were we were smoking on the plane on the way on the way there? Absolutely. We sat in the smoking section at the back, smoking away. Do you want smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, <laughs> please. Ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely mental. Kids wouldn't believe it these days, would they? All right, before we move on to indie stuff, can I have a little um, a little meander into uh, into hip hop because there was lots of kind of summary laid back hip hop sounds going on in the nineties, right? That's true. Uh, so you had like Snoop like Dogg, this whole G funk sound with like um Snoop Dogg, uh Dr. Dre and all of that, right? Um which has got yeah. this totally laid back summary vibe to it. So it's, you mm. know, I, I put down like, you know, track like Gin and Juice from, from uh, uh, Doggy Star. It's a great music. summer hip hop record, right? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, but yeah. not only that, like a lot of the stuff off of... Uh, was the Chronic? Was that 80s? Uh, I think it might have been. Late, maybe, yeah, 89, something like that. Yeah. yeah, oh, no, maybe but, yeah not. All, that maybe sort, not. all that sort of stuff. I got into a little bit when it, uh, people played it in the common room, but my mate from uni, Shahid, he loved all that stuff, and he got me into it. And um, it's just amazing. Yeah, great summer tunes. And also you had, like, um, De La Soul, right? Like Daisy yeah. Age, that kind of, again, that kind of trippy, stoned out, kind of, you know, laid back, psychedelic hip-hop thing going on, which is a, a totally summer vibe. Mm. It's, it's, it's yeah. got a bright coloured sleeve, so that's summer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So summing off of that, um, Three Foot High and Rising, classic album. Doggy Star, was that the name of the album? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's huge. It's a good mm. album, isn't it? They've, and yeah. that did get played a lot in the common room, didn't it? Someone yeah. played it all the time. Mm. Cypress Hill, I would say as well, just because of the kind of the laid hits back. Hits from the bong. Of, hits from the bong, man. That was cool, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hits from yeah. the bong, isn't it? Loved yeah. it, loved it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was good though, wasn't it? I'd also put Ice Cube. Um, it was a good day I'd put in there as well. Yes. You know that track? Yeah. yeah it's about someone, track. it's a good day because someone survives, right? Um, yeah, and it's, it's just like track. going around in the summer. All of that sort of hip hop from the early to mid nineties, I I think I I'm not a massive hip hop aficionado, but I would say that that was a golden period for hip hop around there, I guess. Yeah, it's a different kind of sound, right? It's um mm. yeah, a bit of a summer vibe going on. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. So anyway, I just wanted a quick California, detour into hip hop. It's summer. It's summer all the time, basically, isn't it? In LA, pretty much. Yeah. 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 They have a yeah. bit of a. Yeah. It did snow there once, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that might have just been on Beverly Hills 90210, I'm thinking. Oh, oh man, she died, didn't she? All right, hey, Shannon. Yeah. Is it Shannon? Shannon do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, it's a fucking shame, though. It's only like 53. Oh, really? Yeah, and that, other, mm. and that Luke Perry died as well, didn't he? Not, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, 2015 yeah. or something. What about the other one? Brandon, Brandon, I play Brandon. I think. is he alive? Yeah, yeah, they haven't all died. We just <laughs> think they probably died of old leaked. age. They were they were about <laughs> fucking forty, weren't they? When they were supposed to play teenagers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That happened a lot. Died of old age. <laughs> there was the, there was that their curly haired friend. He looked. He then he looked about thirty. I don't know how old he <laughs> is now. <clears throat> they all did. They all did. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, it was good. Good viewing back in the day. Dave yeah. can relate to a lot of that stuff, I guess. He lives a similar sort of lifestyle, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's mansion. I wish I wish this fantasy <laughs> were true. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go in, we're gonna dip into the Facebook group's suggestions now. Uh we put a post out in the Facebook group just to ask I, I might might not be able to get through all of them because some people had quite extensive lists, but we we'll do what we can. So Richie Williams, he's gone quite generic with any dodgy song. Yeah, any dodgy song. Well, yeah, fair know, enough. It's a feg. Yeah. You know, it, they had Staying Out for the Summer, didn't they? Yeah. And all, uh, In a Room. They're all summer yeah. tunes, aren't they? They're all, yeah, the ultimate summer man. indie band. Yeah. Get yeah. Grass, grass Man. So, yeah, I'd, I'd go with that. He also had uh, Boo Radley's Wake Up Boo. Which oh is, man, that's you know. that's on my list as well. Yeah, we've yeah, yeah. barely it's mentioned brilliant. the Boo Radleys on this podcast. We just have. They were a great band, know, weren't it's they? Episode forty nine. Yeah, episode that's 49. true. That's true. Without a boo, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. brilliant. Oh, they glad really we were. addressed that. Well, you could have bought it up at any time, Dave. You you just haven't. I kept being shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's no any, one's censoring any problem with your, your Boo Radleys. <laughs> There's no controversy about any of the members of Boo Bradley's that we know about. No. Luke, no. Will tell us if there is. Uh, not that I know of, no. But shout out to my mate Welsh Steve, who's a big Boo Radley's fan. So. There you go. Yeah. Dave Tetley Prince, he, he's given yeah. us some good suggestions. Shampoo Delicious. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like oh, pop man. punk. Loved a bit of shampoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were good. Yeah. yeah, famously big in Japan, right? Oh, sing sing a bit of that song. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way we're in trouble. Something's yeah, yeah. come along and it's burst our bubble. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Um, it, but he's also come up with, he's, he's got a, a list of, I can't, I'm not going to do all of them, but um, he's got Lush Lady Killers. You liked nice. it, Lush, didn't you, Becca? Oh, that's yeah. good. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. tune. Um, Garbage, Only Happy When It Rains. It's, it's a oh, brilliant yeah. song. It's a brilliant it song. We're going to move on to some of Marcus O'Riordan's suggestions. He's got, nice. um, hi, Marcus, indeed. Luke, do you, you know Jane's Addiction? Do you know a song called Summertime Rolls? No, I don't know it. No, no, no. Oh. Well, um, I'll give it a check, one. though. <laughs> Chuck. No, no, no. He's got Moving On Up, a primal scream. Oh, see, I, I chose Higher mm. Than The Sun for Primal Scream. Oh, I love Higher Than The Sun. Just because it had the word great. sun in it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But Moving On well, Up moving is probably a bit probably more, more of positive, a summer, isn't it? Summer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Higher yeah, Than yeah, The yeah. Sun, although it's got it in the title, is a bit more dark, which is why I like it, obviously. But uh, That's true, that's yeah. true. All right, Moving On Up is more positive and summer. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, Marcus. Uh, moving On Up, that whole Primal Scream album, though, is Screamer yeah. Delica, one of those summer albums is yeah i guess so why is everything suddenly a summer album yeah <laughs> I, why? Just, I just drifted <laughs> on to it yeah <laughs> yeah thought, i don't know let's see it we'll go with summer albums all right well, I'll, I'll get moving on idea. up because it's it's this positive kind of vibe going down i'm i'm, I'm with that all right, what else has marcus got has he got any more He's got connected by stereo mcs yes. oh yeah yeah oh, with, i mean it's, it's a great is it a summer song why, though why, but yeah it's yeah, gotta it be is. Isn't it? yeah yeah. yeah. Oh man, love that track. I wish we could explain more why something is a somersault. I mean, we know oh, it's a vibe, when isn't it? it is or not. It's a vibe. You can't explain it's it. It's a vibe, man. She bangs the drums, Stone Roses. Is that a summer song? It must be connected to personal experience, right? Maybe they yeah, went to see them at a summer festival or something like being that. At a festival, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I did, which I didn't I see did, them at. So I, I, don't, I don't get summer vibes. I did vibes kind of it, say maybe... songs that remind you of the summer. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's fine then. In that case, that's perfectly valid. That's right, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we'll move on to Lisa Michelle. I think it's Lisa. It could be Lisa, but I think it's Lisa Michelle. Ty Poe's amazing cover of Summer Breeze. Oh, type of negative. Yes, 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 yes. What a fucking suggestion. That is way out of left field. Nice. Do you know, um, uh, I don't know who it's original. It's like the I, 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 I Sleep Brothers, I think. Something like that, the uh, original. Okay. And yeah. they do like this, like, but metal as fuck cover of it. Yes. Yeah. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Well, I'll be listening to that. Type of negative for a good band. Minute, but... Okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. She's I'll also right gone there. with Inertia by the Stuffies. And my favorites like these. a child again by the mission. So, not these particularly summery bands. I can't imagine the mission. mission being very summery. I don't know the track, but I can't imagine it being too, uh, like we've just said, it's it's more, uh, it's very individual, yeah. isn't it? I guess, very sure. Individual. sure, 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 which is great. That's what it's about. Yeah, Michael Clark's gone with Granddaddy, Summer Here Kids. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, I like Granddaddy, think of that? but I don't remember that one. Oh, that must be late 90s, though. Uh, okay. Oh, did it crept in? Uh, let me I check. think they, me check. they definitely had stuff in the late 90s. Luke's the adjudicator. Oh, yeah, yeah easily, 97. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one, good one. Like a bit yeah, of granddaddy. Joe Bellingham. Oh, hello, Joe. School friend. She would have been listening to the same sort of stuff as us, I would have thought. But let's find out. She said, not sure these will be popular. Two princes, spin doctors. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was going to say that earlier. But it's a good song. Why, why is that a summer song, though? Of course, I mean, because we, we heard it. It was in the summer, in the summer, wasn't it? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Summer yeah. vibes. Awful band. Good song. Uh, but she's also gone with uh, <laughs> Dr. Auburn. It's my life. That is, that is, okay, that is a total summer song. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. It's a yeah. great song. And also, which similar sort of vein, uh, Mr. Vane by Culture Beat. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Again, it's one of those kind of played at summer clubs when you're in fucking Ibiza or Betty Dorm or whatever. Well, yeah. that's what she yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. She said it reminds me of a holiday in Ibiza early 90s when she was 15 there or 16. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I didn't know Perfect. she'd been to Ibiza. I always wanted to go to Ibiza. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yes, yeah, so the good one's there. Good one, Joe. Sure. Sarah James. I hope I've said his name remotely, sort of similar to what it should be said, but. Um, Supergrass, Sun Hits the Sky. Oh, yeah. I, see, I, I did have that on my list. All right, weren't we? I had both. Right. I had all yeah. right. And I had, I had Sun Hits the Sky as well. Yeah. But they were a summery band, weren't they? You yeah. Know, 
Yeah. Think, and again, we talked about it before, but just yeah. the video for All Right when they're on the choppers yeah. and it's like, yeah, you know, total yeah. nostalgia fest, right? It's just Yeah, brilliant. Summer. Bright colours. Amazing. Hopefully we get one of the guys from Supergrass on at some point. That'd be a good. That'd, that'd be, be great. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. The Divine Con- Comedy, the pop singer's fear of the pollen count, which is a great <laughs> okay. song. <laughs> sure. More sure. spring. I've heard it, it myself. Eh? More of a spring song. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is the pollen kind of higher Apparently in the spring? So cool I always get hay here. fever in the spring, but <laughs> probably it's mm. high all summer, to be fair. I don't think Dave's just put that hat on for this. <laughs> it no, looks I know. quite comfortable in that hat. Doesn't it does look good, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you can't take it off, can you? Because my hair is going to be like a a big nest. Oh, yeah. It really is. Put it back on. <laughs> yeah, put it back on. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's going to scare the, scare the children. Come on. So moving on to Richie Brown. Come I haven't up heard with, of um, that. <laughs> <laughs> Pop will eat itself. Sick, sicky, kirina. Ah, it's, didn't know you spoke it's Italian. It's like a trumper samba beats. I don't Ooh. know it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Show my ignorance. Uh, by, I butchered the name of that song, by the way, but uh, I'll, if I go back and try and do it again, I'll probably do it worse. So, Yeah, give it, it, give it, give it another try just for fun. I can't read it. It's my eyes aren't working like these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on, just try. Kiki Kiolina. Yeah, just give maybe one more, one more try. <laughs> Kiki Kiolina. <laughs> but he's also, I had this in my list. It's come up with the Sun Rising by the Beloved. That's brilliant. I think I just think crept into it. the nineties. Come on, okay. Sun Rising. Go and listen to it immediately after this. Uh, all right. My name means beloved. What does your name that? mean? Well, Neil that, just means Neil, doesn't it? Like, Neil down. Yeah, Neil down. Yeah. And Luke just means look, you know, look. It means <laughs> look over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, well, I've got my own knock-knock joke, right? Knock-knock. Who's there? Luke. Luke who? Luke through the keyhole. Let me find out. That's a terrible joke. Oh, it means I can do my I done up joke. It's not, the, it doesn't, it's not it's a good not one. It's not yours anyway. Yes, <laughs> if you invented it. the one it. that is actually yours. <laughs> it's not right. even a good the one because done up is not the right grammar. Europe <laughs> is the better joke. <laughs> no, I'm going with done up. That makes it time. funnier, the done up one. No, Europe's a better joke. Right. Uh, Chris Harley, Anything by Silver Sun. Sunny name, Sunny On my voice. list. Oh, Sunny On my list. Yeah. Oh man, I used to love They were Silver great, Sun. weren't they? So did they I. They were great. They were brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were, were some really a couple of years, weren't they? Big in Japan remember. as well. Give us a little example. Well, he looked like this. He had glasses yeah. like that. Um, I yeah. chose the track Golden Skin. They also had the song uh, Lava, mm. Last Day. That's it, Lava. Um, loads and Lava, loads of pop hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he died great. a few years ago, right? I the, didn't know that. Uh, this guy, that's, that's sad. he died a few years ago. Yeah, and they were another they band were that had a bit of uh, success in Japan as well. Yeah, they were so good. Yeah, and I remember all their uh, the covers of their singles were really mm. cool. They were all sort of cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it was, yeah. Good. It was good. I had I uh, really CD like singles, most of them. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, Chris. That was on my list as well. Brilliant. Yeah. So Michael Vickers, he's given us quite a list, but obviously I can't oh, go. Good old Mike. Can't do all of them, but... Um, uh, the Flaming Lips, It's Summertime. Oh, so. okay. So, okay, I got a, I got a um, Flaming Lips song on my list as well. Uh, I went for Kim's Watermelon Gun, um, yeah. which is from, it's when they used to be good, right, from the Clouds Taste Metallic album before they went all fucking up their own arse and boring. Was that before he rock. got into the, the gerbil bowl? At yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they were great, man. They were great in the early days. Yeah. And I used yeah. to have the CD single of the uh, Kim's Watermelon Gun, and it's like um, it's like a clear, clear plastic case, and it had like liquid inside it. It's like like a watermelon, and it had like oh. liquid inside, so it kind of squelched around. Um, you know, I don't yeah. like that sort of thing. Yeah, well, it's I, annoying, it isn't it? Fuck it's just off. annoying. Ash, Ash. Oh, I was oh, going to yeah. say, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's nearly the top of my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's so brilliant. good. Uh, it was the start of the summer. It's perfect, uh, perfect uh, lyrics for it, right? He's got some good ones. I think all of his uh, have actually got sun in, or some sort of weather in the title. Um, Mogwai, Summer. On my list. 
on my list there you go. when there's no lyrics to it. Uh, of course, it's Mogwai, <laughs> but um, yeah. it's it's still got the vibe, man, and it's called Summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's got um, Levelers Dance Before the Storm. Well, you know, mm. I t- it's, it's it's a good song. Could we find a better Levelers song? Though? It must be a better one, well, a more summery one. See, see, mm. uh, hang on. This does lead me on to. Kate Sutcliffe did say Beautiful Day by Levers. I still feel there's a better one. Yeah, well, I know what you mean. Sun. Beautiful it Day. It is a good one, though. That is a good one. Yeah, the Lev- they must have done quite a few, weren't they? Quite a few sort of summer tunes. No, I'd go with Beautiful Day. I think that probably is the most summery one they did. Right, so on to Sam Lawrence. He's got some good ones, actually. Smile, Supernaturals. Oh, of course. Didn't think of them at all. They were a total summery vibe band, yeah, right? The ultimate band, summery right? song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Lucky Man, Verve. Is summery? Yeah, it's Why is that summery? summery? Is that summery? Is that summery? He must have summer memories of it. Yeah, and, and the Verve's, well, most of their music's quite dreary. I quite like it. <laughs> but that song is quite sort of upbeat. Not upbeat. Nah, nah, all right, all right. Uh, Cafe Del Mar, Energy 52. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's reminds me of that. Um, which, um, what was that other track? Um, Encore and Foire. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could speak. Um, at the River, Groove Armada. I hate Encore and Foire. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> it's not even called that. Um, <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, there you go. No. You know, at the River, Groove Armada, if you're fond of sand dunes. Yeah, 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 salty, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That so reminded me of that. That's a great summer track. Yeah. I've got yeah, a 12 yeah. inch of that somewhere. summer evening track, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like um, sitting outside in Ibiza, kind of uh, watching the sea yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, right? it's great. It's great. Yeah, Sunset. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's also got All Right from Supergrass. It's Sorted Freeze and Whiz. It's a great song. And it, it's, right, because like he's talking about yeah, like going to a festival one. on rap. That yeah, is a good sitting one. Sitting in the field. Yeah. yeah. It's some good ones there from Sam, for sure. Nice one, Sam. Kate Sutcliffe, The Sears, The Sun is in the Sky. Don't know it. Do you know that? No, I don't know it at all. No. Oh, God. I thought, I hoped at least one of us would know it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, no, no. New, new ones are good. Doesn't mean we shouldn't include it. So, I'll what about Matt it. Evans, Rain Down, Power of Dreams? Don't know it. Again, we're letting ourselves down here. Dave, you yeah, we are. These. We are. Uh, Sophia Liana, I think that's. Like I say, if I pronounce anyone's name wrong, I do apologise. Sundown, Jesus and Mary Chain. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. 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 Summer Babe, Pavement. Oh, oh, Pavement. Yes. 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 Yeah. Again, I should have thought. I'm annoyed that I didn't think of that one. That's a really good one. Yeah. Yeah. Sunset, yeah. Swerve Driver. Love a bit of Swerve Driver. Mm. 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 Yeah. See, these have all got sun yeah. or summer in See, the this titles. This is done properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunshine ate my brain. Fun bug. Did it? Don't know it. Apparently, it's ate her brain. Fun, fun oh, bug. Fun. Bugs are never fun. And another another song by Fun Bug. Summer girl. <laughs> Who are they? Who is this fun? There you bug? go. Oh, they've, obviously, they've obviously got the bug for having fun, and they're all full of summery Here fun. Here we go. Matt Jammy, friend of the podcast. Ah, oh, friend of the podcast. Well done, they. Yeah. He's gone. For, he's gone for a lot of indie tunes here. Mega City yeah. Four, Clear Blue Sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Mega City one Four down as well. is quite a sort of summery vibe, anyway. Ned's Atomic Dust, Been Happy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Wonder Stuff, Merry Go Round. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good one. Dodgy in a room. Yeah. Jesus Jones, real, real, real. All these summer oh, yeah. tunes, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it is. Yeah, yeah. good, good, good one. Stone Rose is hardest thing in the world. God, he's got the KLF What Time Is Love. I'm not sure if it's summary, but I do fucking love that tune and the KLF probably don't get enough of a mention. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true. They're brilliant. Um, no, that is, yeah, I'll give him that. That's a good, yeah, that's it. That's good. Got a summary oh, vibe. he's got the Shaman on here as well. Amiga, Amiga. Mm. But mm. yeah, the Shaman, they were, yeah. They yeah, were sort definitely. of... Summary sort of vibe band, weren't they? Sure. For other people and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got Neil Tobin. He's got Rise and Shine by the Cardigans. The Cardigans were quite sort of, and the Wanna yeah, Dies, I'd of course. say. The same yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, or both those bands. Breezy, summery, summery sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
And then Dawn Dunstable's also gone for Mega City 4, Clear Blue Sky, so another shout yeah. out to that. So that's like, I, I have missed out some people's songs. Not everyone's had a mention, but yeah, we couldn't mention everyone's. We couldn't go for each song, so left some right. that. But. Brilliant. Thanks for everyone's contributions. Few we didn't yeah. know. Apologies. But uh, have a listen. We'll have a listen. But that's good in a way, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. So I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. What are we going to go? I'm going to go with some of mine that haven't been mentioned already. Uh, Joyride, a rush hour. It's a bit oh, joy, oh great one. Yeah. It's a cover, I know, but it's, it's yeah. good. So have you got any more to mention before I, before I get all, um, before I get all esoteric? But the big one for me we haven't mentioned is Park Life. Ah, right. Oh, well, that's such a song. I'm going to talk about it now, but my it's my my number three track. Can I say it now? Go ahead. It's a, it's the ultimate summer song. Girls and boys. It's the ultimate. Yes, Come it's the ultimate experience of and the going over is, to yeah. fucking you know I be you know, Benidorm for the summer and it's the whole teenage experience of the summer. It's the ultimate indie summer song. Yeah, the video Surely. is like that as well, isn't it? Yeah. It Which is song? It's like yeah. a jungle. Girls, girls, and girls and boys. Girls and boys. Yeah, yeah. It's a call to police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a far better summer song than Pug Life is good, but in terms of like on 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 topic, Girls and Boys is, is good. Well, right? for me, that yeah. whole album is summer. Yeah. It's, right. It's the whole right, album. Right, right, right. Start yeah, yeah, to yeah. end. Girls and Boys, though, for the, for the win. Oh, man. That bass line on that. Yeah, it's good. It's got good. the best bass riff I've ever heard. If you haven't heard any of Morgan Nichols bass lines, then yeah. But is there is there well, another song that so accurately depicts that that experience that you know, like that, like the In Betweeners movie did it very well, right on on film. Yeah, it's right. good. Uh, but, yeah. but I mean, on, we didn't really. No one's mentioned any Oasis songs, but yeah, I guess they're not particularly they're not. summery. They're In not my mind, like, they are because of what we talked adamant. about it before, like. We used to get, you know, driving over to Brighton in the summer mm. on a Friday, listening to Slide Away and stuff. So in my mind, that's like a summer song, yeah. but I know it's not really. No. Um, no yeah, I guess they're not very summery. I've got loads of others. Go on. Is that all right? Can, us, I, can I do a few? some honourable mentions, yeah. Okay, honourable mentions. Um, Symposium, Drink the Sunshine. Oh, yes. I mean, they're yeah, a great yeah. summer vibes band, right? Symposium. I think we're going to have Ross on soon. So. Oh, really? That'll be good. Yeah, drink the sunshine. Track one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah um, so, so honorable mention for that, which is great. Yeah, great, great shout. Um, bit of an obscure one. This. This is a band called Oranger, and uh, they wow. they just like a summer psychedelic y kind of Beach Boysy sound going on. They got a track called "A Mike Love Not War," which uh, right. which is funny right you know Michael well no Lyons one will have heard of that so move on to the next one no but also i wanted to give mention to like the whole kind of elephant six scene as well which no oh. one's mentioned though i thought they might in the comments they had a nice summer vibe going on so i wanted to give them a bit of a mention um there's a band called the web brothers who i really liked um you know I jimmy the web brothers I jimmy webb wrote he was a songwriter he wrote um um what's it called which is a lineman and uh, anyway, they're his sons, right. and they they got a song called "Summer People," which oh, actually, I think I've got a tenny. <laughs> you wish, you wish you had a tenny. <laughs> Look at him scrabbling around in his collection. He just wanted to show his cords off. Uh, he's never happier, is he, than when he's scrabbling around, <laughs> <looking> <laughs> rummaging around in his records. Oh, look how summery that is. Summer people, we're brothers. Great, great summer song. Bikini Kill. They got a right. song called Carnival, and. Um, mm. Carnivals, what happens in the summer, right? You used to go down Seaford, you have like yeah. the, the fair or the level. Like uh, at the start of the song, um, Kathleen Hanna says, uh, this song is about um, 16-year-old girls giving Carney's head for free rides and pot. And uh, it's got some yeah. other great lines in it as well. It's like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll win that Motley Crew mirror if it kills me. There's loads of great lines yeah. in it. So, and that's a summer summer thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, good shout. Yeah. Good shout. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, it's a bit a bit off bit off um off uh, kilter, but um you know when Pulp Fiction came out? Mm. Like mm. Uh, I was thinking like the soundtrack came out and everyone was listening yeah, to surf yeah, music because yeah. there were like three or four yeah, surf true. tracks on that soundtrack. That's true. Like Misa yeah. Lou was the big one, of course, right? Dick Dale. Yeah. And then yeah. there were like three or four surf tracks on it. So that was um a surf music revival in the nineties because of Pulp Fiction. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, I think you're right. 
a quick shout for BMX Bandits, uh, possible future uh, guests. Yeah, 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 I think so, um, yeah. And they they did they did a cover of uh, Jonathan Richmond's "That Summer Feeling," which is which is a great great summer song, and they do mm. it they do it more than justice. And one more, uh, Kinnicky, "Stay in the Sun," the uh, uh, opening like track on their Kinnicky. second album, which I really like. I loved a bit of Kinnicky. She's on the Bloody One show now, isn't she, Lauren Levan? She does Desert Island Discs. She's a big star, big time broadcaster now. Are we going to do wrap up and do a top three? So number three. Is yeah. DJ Jazzy Jeff with the Fresh Prince? Uh, yeah. It's it's so good. It's so good. Number two is Blur, uh, Girls and Boys, yeah. and number one, which we haven't mentioned, and they've got two amazing summer songs. Arab Strap. Arab Strap. The first big weekend is the I've forgotten about teenage it. Teenage yeah. experience of the brilliant. summer. Yes, yeah. yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know this yeah, track? I had Dave? this on my list. Uh, no. It's basically. Oh, well, I might do, but I can't remember. Guy, mumbly Scottish guy, basically talking about like the first big weekend of the summer, right? And it's just like literally going just to talking. his friend's house. Yes, yeah, just talking, going to his friend's house, just drinking, talking, going to the pub, getting in too late, can't sleep, goes to the park, Meeting your comes back. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Goes and watch your band. It's brilliant. Keeps drinking a bit more in the park. Watches The Simpsons, yeah. and um, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. Went out for the well, the lyrics are went out for the weekend. Um, it lasted yeah. forever. I got high with my friend. It's officially summer, so whenever yeah, yeah summer starts, I like to listen to it. Man, I'd forgotten all about that until you said that you hadn't mentioned it, and then I, it, yeah, I thought it was going to be that. Go. Arab Strap. They've also got another song called "Girls of Summer," which is really good as well. But this is the ultimate indie summer summer track for me. So I, I I'm going to go Joyrider, Rush Hour Number Three. I think it just is it's a summer bang of that. I haven't really got a number two. Number one would be DJ Jazzy Jeff. I think it would. I, I love that song. <laughs> Put it it's on great. every summer. So number two probably be Ash. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just a yeah, a great summer song. And Girl from Mars works as well as a summer song, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Dave. Well, I haven't really got a top three. And you say that every time. Just do it. No, I don't. You do. You kind of do. You know, we haven't mentioned the film Dazed and Confused. Oh, but I yeah. can't remember what was on that soundtrack, but the whole vibe from that film, obviously, yeah. was just so... Yeah. So what, you're going to have You're going to have that lifted and then Ocean Drive? Yeah, all right, I'll go... I'll have, all right, I'll have Ocean <laughs> Drive number one. Lifted's yeah. not a summer song. No. And I'll I'll have Park Life. I'll just have those two. Ocean Drive, Park Life, number three. I've got a three. <laughs> okay, we'll make one. <laughs> just just you've heard it. like a hundred songs. Just pick one. I know. I'll have Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Fresh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's so made all of our top three. Collectively, that's going to be our favourite song. Yeah. Which I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. justified. Drums, please. Yeah. So good. I reckon. So, good. so that's it from us and you. Uh, thanks for all your suggestions. Sorry we couldn't. Yeah, mention that was all great. Them, but yeah, we did our best. If you have enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, help us grow, and leave a comment below. And if you're listening, then please do rate and review because it really does help the podcast get found. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Let's just keep moving up those charts. New York Times review of books. We're going to leave them in our dust. BBC yeah, Good Food. Eat shit. Fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit. I like it. Oh, we need to make an announcement. Yeah, so we, yeah, we have got a bit of an announcement. It's very bad timing since, <laughs> since we had our best <laughs> week last week. But uh, that's it. We're done. See no, we're not. No, he's fucking with you, listeners. <laughs> he's fucking with you. Come on, Neil. Tell the truth. No, uh, we are get. I've got a very busy August. Uh, as as we all have, and uh, realistically, getting the uh, episodes out each week for August, just for August, it won't be possible. But so the conversation went something like, "Oh, I can't. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. We'll have to take a break for a month." And Luke was like, "Fuck no, we can't take a break for a month. What about the listeners, man?" Hey, and we're like, "Yeah, you're right." Mm. So we're going to still put out something each week, but it's going to be more just an interview. Um, uh, not necessarily 90s maybe with bands Luke's going to interview a few up and coming bands is it record label yeah yeah yeah. so there will be something each week still in August but it won't be the usual format 
of us three talking shit, which is probably, you know, <laughs> probably a, a nice good little thing. break for. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll be back in after sort of four weeks with with normal service regime. We've got some great guests coming up. So don't go anywhere. Don't start listening to other podcasts and stuff. No. We're still going to be here. We'll put something out. Still here. Yeah. And we're still going to be active in the Facebook group. And, you know, we're, uh, you've still got all the old old ones. If you, it's a good chance to go and catch up if you haven't already. Don't worry. We're, we're coming back bigger, better than ever. Yeah. So we're, we'll still have stuff. But just, just so you know, it's going to change, but only temporarily. You might enjoy it more. Like you say, yeah, we just don't get us talking shit before and after. So. But yeah, I mean, you might won't get Dave's sign off for a little while. So that's true. That's true. Sure, I'll yeah. pre record a few. Yeah, oh, you can okay. stick them on the end. We we'll just stick them on yeah. the end. Brilliant. All yeah. right. All right. So anyway, Dave, finish this one up. See you in a minute.